Welcome to Sounds of Brass. Sounds of Brass is proudly sponsored by Stratos Brass. Say goodbye to mouthpiece pressure and hello to an optimized embouchure with a revolutionary one-size-fits-all Stratos Performer. Compatible with all brass instruments, it's your key to clearer, stronger playing, giving you more stamina than you ever thought possible. Get yours now for just £79.99 at stratosbrass.com. Exceed your expectations every time with the Stratos Performer. And welcome back to another sum of Everything Brass from Sal Peter here on the Sounds of Brass Radio. Hope you've had an absolutely fantastic day today, or you're having a fantastic day today, and you're enjoying the weather, which is nice, but it keeps getting dull and nice, but then again, that's British weather for you, isn't it? And I don't know, you wherever around the world, you might be having glorious sunshine, and if you are, well, I'm hoping you're enjoying that as well. This week on the show, I'm going to be featuring a brass band from Austria called The Brass Band Froschel. Hall. So as always, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Thank you. 
Opening in today's show was a piece that was originally written back in 1956. It was actually written by the famous composer Leonard Bernstein. And it was originally written or orchestrated for a piccolo, two flutes, two oboes, two clarinets, an E-flat clarinet, bass clarinet, bass bassoon and a contra bassoon as well. It was then rewritten for or rearranged for brass band by brass band composer Howard Snell. And that was a little bit of a candid overture here on Sounds of Brass. What a brilliant tune to start a show with. Now, the brass band Froschul Hall was started 25 years ago uh, when Hans Bichegger attempted to found a brass band inspired by their English counterparts. He had been dedicated himself to this musical form for years and thus he and the ensemble were actually able to promote this new style of sound not only in Tyrol but far beyond right from the beginning as well. Now although only if you expected a long lasting existence of the innovated cast, the ensemble consisted of 35 outstanding brass players and drummers and has been able to constantly attract more and more fans through not only the excellent and committed direction of its conductor but also intensive musical performances and an extraordinary degree of perfection as well. The band is now going to take us to a piece of music that actually was made famous by a British brass band better known as the Grimethorpe Colliery Band and featured in the hit movie Brassed Off. It's a piece that was originally written and composed by Rodrigo. Here is the Froschel Hall Brass Band and they're going to give us Rodrigo's Concerto de Orangeus. And our soloist on the flugelhorn is Michael Frosch. <laughs>
Hello, Brasborn lovers from a Frenchie. My name is Eric Brice. I am a French horn teacher and principal French horn player in a symphonic orchestra, but I also play tenor horn and I conduct a brass band in northern France in the lovely city of Amiens. I am really happy to be part of the Sounds of Brass presenters team. I want to interest and surprise you during my show and bring you the Sounds Brass Ensembles, a bit of brass quintet and above all magnificent international music for brass band. You can listen to my show twice a month on Thursday 6 p.m. UK time. Thank you for listening and enjoy my show. The band's going to take us to a piece of music now that was written and composed by Peter Graham of the Brass Band. The piece is a solo for either trombone or B-flat euphonium. Here is the Frosch Hall Band, and they're going to give us Peter Graham's Cossack Fire and Wedding Dance. And their main soloist is Hubert Cobbler. Thank you. 
The brass band Frosh Hall there, giving us a little bit of uh, Peter Graham's Cossack Fire and Wedding Down to what an absolutely fantastic piece. And uh, talking about the musical director, the musical director who is called Corsin Chor. I tell you what, I I really do hope I'm pronouncing these right. I'm having to go Austrian here. It's one language I never ever thought I'd say I'd get the chance to do, but... I'm having to go anyway. So any Austrians that may be listening or even any members from the Frosch Hall band, I do apologise if I'm making a little bit of a pig's ear of this, but I do apologise. I am having to go. I really, really am. Plus, that's the beauty of being a radio presenter. You get the chance to try new languages and make a complete total fool of yourself at the expense of myself. I really, really do. Anyway... Uh, Carson Tier grew up in Troon. He earned his teaching diploma with a distinction in the euphonium major and then the diploma in wind orchestra direction at the then Lucerne Conservatory, which is now better known as the Lucerne University of Music. And for eight years, he was a solo euphoniumist in the brass band Bergenmusik Lucerne as a conductor. He founded and directed the Sochel musical Della Chasileva for his cultural work and received the sponsorship award from the canton of Gruberden in 1998 and the cultural award for the municipality of Trun in 2010. Which brings us nicely to our next piece. The band is going to give us a piece now that was originally written and composed by Dmitry Shostakovich. Here is the Frosch Hall Brass Band that giving us Festival Overture, Opus 96. Thank you. 
If you enjoy our 24-7 online brass band radio station, please show your support, if you can, by making a donation. Simply visit our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk, and click on the donate button. Thank you. The band is going to give us a piece of music now by a composer who actually is one of my favourite composers, especially being an ex-French horn player. It's a piece that's been written and composed by the legendary John Williams. Here is the Frosch Hall Brass Band, and they're going to give us John Williams's fanfares, lyrical and heroical themes. <laughs> Thank you. 
yes indeed. First time I've heard that one, and I absolutely loved it. I really, really did. The Fraud Hall Brass Band there, giving us John Williams's Fanfare's lyrical and heroical themes here on Sounds of Brass. And that was from their album, Crystal Brass, and it was live from one of their live recordings. What an absolutely brilliant piece that is and if you're a big john williams fan just as i am and you like john williams's music in well upcoming in a future show i'm going to be doing one of my shows which is going to be brass bands that play john williams so definitely be sure to look out for that show when it is advertised because that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks the band's going to give us a piece now, a little bit of a jazz. Uh, it's a piece that was written by a jazz composer, Kenny Baker. It's being played on a principal cornet by Thomas Oberlechner. Here is Kenny Baker's Virtuosity. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yes, indeed. The Froschel Hall Band with the principal cornetist Thomas Oberlachna giving us Kenny Baker's virtuosity here on Sounds of Brass. What an absolutely brilliant solo that was. Remember, if you want to get in touch with you, may have a band function coming up or you just want an advertisement or something mentioning out, then why not drop one of us at Presenters a line here at Sounds of Brass Radio? And you can do that by sending email to presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. That's presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. Remembering in your email to put which presenter you wish to contact. Also, remembering that if you want to catch up with any show that's been on already, whether they be past or present, then why not jump over to YouTube and in the search bar type in Sounds of Brass, where you can pick up on all shows that have been on the past and that are present and listen to them back at your heart's content. Attention all UK brass bands and brass players. Sounds of Brass is supported by New Moon Insurance Services Limited, a specialised insurance broker for all types of musical instruments, specifically brass instruments and brass bands. We are part of the banding community and are an insurance partner of Brass Band England and support various competitions and regional events up and down the UK. Since 2009, New Moon Insurance have supported brass bands by returning some of your premium to your band each year, which totals over £100,000. Whether you are a championship band or a local non-competing band, New Moon Insurance have cover that's right for you at competitive prices. If you are based in the UK, Isle of Man or the Channel Islands, for either your band insurance or specialist cover for your own instruments, why not give New Moon Insurance a call? on 01892-280323 or visit newmooninsurance.com Now the continuously sold out New Year's concerts at the Congress of Innsbruck are an impressive confirmation of these achievements that the band have done. Now additionally the ensemble has actually celebrated international success at the European Brass Band Championships in Montreal, London Cocaid and Munich and has produced 18 records and CDs so far. Now, the way for this extraordinary story has actually not been paved by the musical quality, but also by the generous financial support of the construction company Frosch that has been sponsoring the local ensemble since 1996. Now, they are extremely proud of all the top soloists led by Florian Kingler, trumpet soloists and cornet soloists from the Munich Philharmonic, who has also been playing the, well, the exposed soprano cornet for years, followed by Lito Fontana, trombone soloist, and Manfred Luga, cornet soloist, and the principal cornet soloist as well. Which brings us nicely up to our next piece. It's time to give the trombone section a chance to shine. They're going to give us a piece that was written and composed by Norbert Robensberg. And here is the trombone section, which consists of musicians on the trombone section on solo trombone, Johannes Neigenhauser, on second trombone, uh, Benedict Ehler. On bass trombone, Stefan Valda, and they're going to give us a little bit of funky trombones. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, yes, indeed. Letting the trombone section loose uh, to give us, or to showcase, the talent. And that was uh, Johannes Neigenheiser, uh, Benelik Eller, and Stefan Wagner giving us funky trombones here on the Sounds of Brass. What an absolutely splendid piece. We're going to move closer to home now with some marches, a little bit of British marches indeed. The band is going to give us a, a piece that has well, about two or three different composers all in one. First being a William German and Clive Barraclough and Carl King. And the band is going to give us a British march parade Featuring the President, Simmerain, Barnum and Bailey's, and of course the Melody Shop. Here is the brass band at Frosh Hall giving us a British March Parade. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, this is Andy Dehaney Stephen from Bethnal Green in London. My show, well, it tends to be a mixture of memories and stuff I find lying about on the web and on my virtual CD shelf, but if I hear a piece I like played by other than a brass band, I will search for a brass version. I play what I like, what interests me, and what I think might interest a listener like me, someone with broad musical tastes, including but not restricted to brass band music. I play in bands, but I sing jazz, and there are few genres of music that I don't enjoy. So I place brass band classics and test pieces next to cheesy pop, jazz and funk, and I always include a couple of cooldown numbers. I hope that listeners will find something they like in each show. My show airs on Fridays at 7.30pm UK time, with another chance to hear it on Tuesdays at 730 It would be lovely to have you there.
You are listening to Sounds of Brass, the online radio station for brass bands. Sounds of Brass is sponsored by Stratos Brass. Cushion the blow with Stratos Encore Pro and achieve new heights in your playing. Visit stratosbrass.com. Now back to the show.
a brass band Froschel Hall there, giving us uh, an absolutely fantastic piece that was written and composed by John Williams. Some of his best work from some of his, some of his fantastic movie themes, and that was the best of John Williams here on Sounds of Brass. Welcome back to the second half of today's show. We're going to go into an absolutely fantastic piece now. It's a famous march that was written and composed by Julius Fusick. Here is Julian Fusick's Florentina March. Thank you. 
Oh, yes, indeed. What an absolutely fantastic match. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. It was a brilliant match. The first time I ever, ever heard it. And right at this moment in time, I'll still say it again. It's still a really good match to listen to again. The Brass Band Friorge Hall of the Givenos. Czechoslovakian composer Julius Fusak's march, and that was, of course, the Florentina march. What an absolutely brilliant march that is. The band's going to take us to a piece of music now that I must admit I haven't heard in a long time, but it's still another brilliant composer as well. It's a piece that was written as an opera by Giochino Rossini. The piece is from Rossini's The Barber of Seville. It's called Lago al Factotum, and for those that don't understand what that means, basically, it's the song Figaro. <laughs> Thank you. 
a solo being played by Euphonium, a soloist, Kamalga Stefan. And that was, of course, Giochini Rossini's Figaro from the Barbarisville, or better known as Lago Al Factotum here on Sounds of Brass. What an absolutely brilliant solo that was. Was. Remember, if you want to get in touch with the station, you may have a function coming up or you may men- want to mention something, then why not drop one of us presenters a line? You can do that by sending us an email to presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. That's presenters at soundsofbrass.co.uk. Remembering in your email to put what presenter you wish to get in touch with. Also, and as a quick reminder, that if you want to catch up with any shows that's already been on Sounds of Brass this last week or this last month or even longer, then why not jump on over to YouTube and in the search bar type in Sounds of Brass, where you can pick whichever shows that you wish to listen to again, and you can listen to them again and again to your heart's content. It couldn't be as simple as that. I'm going to take you to another beautiful solo now. It's from another feature film that starred Mel Gibson. The film was written and composed by the famous James Horner. It's from the feature film Braveheart. Here is Markel Frosch on Flugelhorn, giving us from James Horner's film Braveheart for the love of a princess. Thank you. 
from James Horner's hit movie of Braveheart. And that was Markel Frosch on Flugelhorn, giving us that absolutely beautiful solo for the love of a princess here on Sounds of Brass. Tell you what, absolutely beautiful piece and well done to him as well. We're going to speed things up or juice things up now with um, a piece that was originally written by the pop legend Lionel Richie. So we're going to go from a little bit, a nice slow piece up to one that you can get up and start dancing around to if you really want to. Here is the Frosh Brass Band now giving us a little bit of Lionel Richie and here is All Night Long. Oh, yes, indeed. The Frosh Hall Brass Band are giving us a little bit of Lionel Richie's All Night Long. I want to change the style of music now to a piece that, um, it's the first time I've really come across it, but I absolutely love it, and I'm hoping, I really do hope that you're going to enjoy it too. The Brass Band is now going to give us a little bit of Latin brass, basically. It's got a little bit of Latin music. It's a piece that was written and composed by Johnny Keating and Peter Graham himself. Um, It's a piece that's called Latin Brass Melody, and it consists of a piece called Malaguana, Sway, and Amazonia. So here is the Afrosh Brass Band now, and they're going to give us the Latin Brass Melody. 
Thank <laughs> you.
Attention all UK brass bands and brass players. Sounds of Brass is supported by New Moon Insurance Services Limited, a specialized insurance broker for all types of musical instruments, specifically brass instruments and brass bands. We are part of the banding community and are an insurance partner of Brass Band England and support various competitions and regional events up and down the UK. Since 2009, New Moon Insurance have supported brass bands by returning some of your premium to your band each year, which totals over £100,000. Whether you are a championship band or a local non-competing band, New Moon Insurance have cover that's right for you at competitive prices. If you are based in the UK, Isle of Man or the Channel Islands, for either your band insurance or specialist cover for your own instruments, why not give New Moon Insurance a call? on 01892-280-323 or visit newmooninsurance.com Sounds of Brass has launched our own branded merchandise. We have some great promotional items available such as baseball caps, polo shirts, backpacks, mugs, and our own jackets. If you enjoy our Brass Band online radio station, please purchase something to help promote Sounds of Brass. Profits from all sales go towards helping us with our ongoing running costs. We ship to most countries across the world. Please check them out on our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk. Thank you. Enjoy our great Brass Band online radio station. I want to take you to a piece now that started as a theatrical show that consisted mainly of traditional Irish music and dance with a score that was actually composed by Bill Whelan. It originated as an interval act during the Eurovision Song Contest back in 1994 and featuring the Irish dancing champions Gene Butler, Michael Flatley and the vocal ensemble Anuna. Here is the Brass Band Frosh Hall and they're going to give us Bill Whelan's River Dance.
Under the direction of Hans Bukega, that was, of course, the brass band Frosch Hall uh, giving us from one of the live recordings, and that was Bill Whelan's Riverdance. What a superb piece. And if I've got time, I'll actually play one another piece from the Riverdance show, which I think a lot of people will know, especially in the UK. If you're like me, you'll definitely remember it from when you were a kid in primary school singing it in assembly. Frosh Hall, brass band there, giving us back with another one of uh, Giochini Rossini's classic masterpieces. And that was, of course, the William Tell Overture here on the Sounds of Brass Radio. What another great tune. And, yeah, being played by another great band on this week's show. It's been absolutely brilliant, brilliant to showcase another foreign band, especially one from Austria, as I like to do. It's all right. We all do. With the, we all know our British bands, but I think it's only right that we we showcase some of these bands from across the waters as well. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Hello, my name's Chris Johnson, and I am the producer and one of the presenters on Sounds of Brass. Yes, the online radio station for brass bands across the world. 
My show is on Saturdays at 7.30pm. I've been involved in brass bands for many, many years and uh, I thought it was about time that brass bands had their own place in the world across the internet. So, hope you're enjoying this station and I hope you enjoy my shows. Every Saturday I'm on half past seven in the evening, UK time. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the station. Well, unfortunately, we have come to the end of yet another jam-packed two hours short. So glad you've been here to join me today. And a thank you to my special band that I've been featuring this week, the Brass Band Forsch Hall from Austria. As promised, I'm going to play you out with another piece from the Riverdance musical. It's a piece called a Festival Arrangement, or better known as the Lord of the Dance. So from Sal Peter... And everybody here in the studio at Sounds of Brass, have a great rest of your week, and I shall see you all next week. Thank you. 